brother Alfred Rubello, the founder of Divine Mercy Group, which began in 1999, says he was inspired to begin this mission after watching a movie about Saint Faustina Kowalska. I was watching a movie of Divine Mercy and during the Second World War, the Nazis were burning the copies of this. So I was thinking, why? So it really caught my attention. My wife coincidentally gave me this three o'clock card and everything fell into place. Soon after he began the Divine Mercy Prayer Group, he became a preacher proclaiming the Word of God. It's been 19 years and Brother Alfred still upholds his promise to spread the Divine Mercy. The Divine Mercy mission began in a small way by me distributing only seven chaplets of Divine Mercy. And now we have spread it all over the world. We have spent the Divine Mercy Novenas, the images, the three o'clock cards. This Divine Mercy mission is very important to me because this is Jesus' mission to save the souls. And there are some promises attached with this. The first promise is the souls that will say this chaplet will be embraced by my mercy during the lifetime, especially at the hour of their death. This second point here, Jesus gave this promise to St. Faustina. The prayer most pleasing to me is prayer for the conversion of sinners. My daughter, no that it is always heard and answered. Third point is a beautiful point. When they say this chaplet in the presence of the dying, I will stand between my father and the dying person, not as a just judge, but as a merciful savior. The fourth point here, the chaplet's power, the souls who spread the honor of my mercy at the hour of death, I will not be a judge for them, but I will be a merciful savior for them. The Divine Mercy Prayer Group in Sharjah has been growing over the years. And it is watched by people worldwide through YouTube, Facebook, and the Divine Mercy website. If Jesus can show mercy and bring back an atheist like me from the dead, I'm sure he will show mercy to you also. And I have promised my God that I will serve him till my last breath. What about you?